Two popular tourist destinations, the Bahamas and Jamaica, are now under level two travel advisories, according to the U.S. Department of State. Elizabeth Carey with AAA here to explain that and what it means if you have travel plans, especially as we approach spring break. Yeah, so unfortunately, people see this and they get a little bit alarmed and they start asking a lot of questions. So there's four different levels. Uh, the four is do not travel. So none of them are at that. Jamaica's at reconsider travel and the Bahamas are at use caution. And actually, there's a worldwide use caution in place right now if you go look at the State Department's website. So at AAA, we always remind everyone, it doesn't matter if you're going to Disney, if you're going overseas, if you're going down to the Bahamas, be aware of your surroundings and be on the lookout and make sure you're protecting yourself. So if somebody has already booked a trip and now they're watching our show this morning and there's some concern there, what kind of you know safeguards are in place if they wanted to reschedule or something like that? Well, unfortunately, if you just book the trip and you're set to go, if you don't have any type of travel insurance, you would just lose the cash or try to work out a deal with the resort or whatever destination you're going to to see if they could give you some type of a, a refund or a rebate. Otherwise, um, we're seeing people just saying, well, I booked it and I'm still going to go. But this is something to think about. If you're going to a, a big resort and you're staying on the property, there's going to be a lot of security. It's when people book like Airbnbs are really popular right now. You don't have any security in that apartment or that house or condo that you run in. So it's something to think about when you're making your travel plans. Why are both these places on that level two advisory? What you know dictates that? Yeah, so it's really gang activity on the islands. Uh, for instance, I was in Nassau, Bahamas uh, just last year, and you could see some changes taking place in the area for sure. And not far from the cruise port is where this area is. So you have to be aware of your surroundings. You don't want to make the wrong turn and go a few blocks into the local area where the gang activity is taking place. So they're just reminding everyone, if you're going on an excursion, book it through your travel agent, through your resort, or through your cruise line to make sure that you're safe. Don't, you know, you're standing on the beach and someone's going to take you on this boat ride for $50. Don't do anything like that. You'll be putting yourself at risk. And if someone does approach you on the street and say, like, give me your money, they're saying just hand it over. Don't create a bigger issue where you could put yourself at risk. Elizabeth Carey with AAA, great advice. Thank you, as always, for coming on our show. Yeah, safe travels. Mike